I think we can all agree that the most used app on our devices is the web browser. It allows us to do almost anything and many aspects of our lives are concentrated within this crucial piece of software. Yet many modern browsers do not allow for the flexibility and organization we crave for once we start stacking tabs upon tabs of websites and we mix our work with leisure tabs. Or we have these random Google queries just clogging up our view and you no longer need to know why Goofy and Pluto are dogs, yet one of them has seemed to evolve much farther than the other one? What if I told you that you can retake control of your tabs and have all aspects of your digital life organized? I'm Oscar, the super user, and today we'll be looking at one of my favorite software applications, the Zen Browser. And before you ask, no, this isn't promotion, I love this browser so much that I need to tell you about it. It's also a community project, so it's not run by a company. So some time ago, I used to use Firefox and Brave browser most of the time. And since I switched to vertical tabs on those browsers, I never felt the need to go back to horizontal tabs. Vertical is just cleaner, you can fit more tabs, and it takes up less screen real estate than horizontal. But with Brave, I really don't trust the company and Firefox is getting more bloated every day with unnecessary functions, and the search for the perfect web browser began. That's when the Zen browser came into my life, and oh my lord, has it changed the way I just do things online. And the best part is it's also free and open source since it's based on Firefox. So let's dive into the details. Vertical tabs are king. If you are familiar with the Arc browser on Mac or Windows, it has a very similar philosophy of operation. Tabs are managed on a vertical sidebar. As I mentioned before, there is a number of benefits to having vertical tabs, especially if your screen is wide. You can fit more tabs and even read what they are. The vertical sidebar can also be hidden with compact mode, giving you this nice clean look, and you can consult your tabs by moving your cursor to the edge. What's more, you can move the vertical bar to the right if you prefer, so there is a lot of choice on how to display the browser's elements. But let's talk about the tabs themselves now with Tab Management. You can assign some tabs to be essential, and they will always stay saved at the top of your sidebar. You can also pin tabs right underneath these essentials for other things you want to have handy. A very useful feature about essentials and pin tabs is that they can be reset to the original URL of when you pin them. This means you can navigate freely and, at the press of a button, go back to the original website you pinned. If you start accumulating a decent amount of pin tabs, you can even create named folders to organize them in. Before I go on, this is a quick reminder to give me a nice like and hit the subscribe button if you want to stay tuned for more casual and laid back Linux videos. I think they are truly a zen experience. A great little feature is that you can even rename the tabs themselves. And this is fantastic if you have the same tab, but with different accounts. And yes, you can have the same tab with different accounts thanks to Firefox containers. But we'll get to that right now. Workspaces. So if the vertical tab management hasn't been enough to convince you, get a hold of this. You can have workspaces inside your browser, dedicated to different projects in your life. I have one for daily personal use, a workspace for my YouTube channel, uh, another one for my studies in academia, and another one for my day job. And I know some browsers, such as Vivaldi, also have workspaces, but what really sets Zen Browser apart here is the Firefox container add-on, which comes pre-installed in the browser. With containers, you can separate tabs and workspaces into different browsing sessions. These containers are separate from each other and hold different cookies and web data. So in my personal workspace, I have my personal YouTube account signed in. But in this YouTube channel's workspace, it has a different container with a different account, and they can both live within the same web browser. Another example of this feature is how I use it for WhatsApp in my job. I have two work phones for different purposes, and in both I need to communicate with different clients. Unfortunately, WhatsApp web only allows one account per browser profile, but with Firefox containers in the Zen browser, 
I can have two tabs of WhatsApp web with different accounts, and it has saved me from downloading another browser or creating a new browser profile just for that. Workspaces also work well with the essential tabs. If you have workspaces that use the same container, they will share their essential tabs. Other features. We're not done yet. Workspaces and tab management are amazing, but what can you do with the browsing experience itself? Well, you can easily split your view with multiple tabs. Just drag the tab onto the web view and it will split in half. Add another and you have three tabs in one view. What's more, you can even pin this split setup and save it forever. We also have the glance feature where you click on a link and you get a preview of what's there, but it hasn't materialized into a tab yet. You can browse through multiple links this way and you can decide to close the glance and go back to the original tab or turn the glance into a new tab or even split the view with it. Aside from that, the whole browser is a delight to use with smooth, cool looking animations and customizable colors and gradients. You can even access something called Zen Mods, which are community-made mods that add even more features to your browser. And yes, you have access to extensions, the same ones Firefox has, since Zen is a Firefox fork. So basically, this browser has it all. You also have the option of creating a Mozilla account to sync extensions, containers, bookmarks, and web history between devices. Downsides. Yes, because there is always something negative to say about everything. But maybe you don't like vertical tabs. If you're wondering if Zen can have horizontal tabs, then no. The developers have said that the whole point of this browser is to use the vertical tabs, so you're out of luck there. Also, since it is based on Firefox, some websites seem to have a problem with this web engine, and you can frequently get pop-ups saying to switch to Chrome or something. I haven't encountered anything Firefox or Zen can't do, but you never know. The cool thing is that you can install uBlock Origin and block all the ads that you like, uh, but that comes with the downside that YouTube has been purposefully slowing down Firefox-based browsers, which do this, and I have noticed its effects for sure. It's not really the fault of Zen or Firefox, but it is a downside to consider. It really doesn't bother me enough to switch away, but maybe for you, that's important. And that's all about the Zen browser. If you feel curious, give it a whirl since it's free. On Linux, you can get it via Flatpak, App Image, and Tarball. And for Arch users, you have a nice AUR repository, so you have multiple ways of installing it. If you're on the Windows or the Apple Mac, you have those versions available too, but I don't need to tell you that. If you do try it, I'd love to know what you think of it so you can tell me in the comments below. Uh, with that said, it's always good to remember the wise words of the terminal. With great power comes great responsibility.